Life is Worth Living was Bishop Fulton Sheen. And he was a brilliant speaker. Uh, he did the program. It was a half hour show, nighttime. And the way that show evolved was very interesting. Milton Berle was on NBC on Tuesday nights from eight to nine and was the number one show on television. We had Hooper ratings in the beginning before Nielsen. And those ratings show that uh, Milton Berle just took over uh, the tube in the homes of every, every television home in the country which tuned to Milton Berle. And, but we had to fill, in order to, to have a complete evening, we had to fill that time with something. So our program director, under the restraint of uh, budget restraints, uh, decided he would put a, a religious program in that time. And we would alternate every week with a different religion. We'd have a Protestant on one week, Catholic the following week, uh, Jewish the following week, and go through the same cycle again. And the Catholic program was done by Bishop Sheen. And we suddenly saw Bishop Sheen achieving a tremendous audience. As a matter of fact, he was cutting into Milton Berle, which just was a phenomenon. And uh, Bishop Sheen used to say, that's because I have better writers. He was preaching from the Bible. <laughs> anyway, after the first season of this, we decided uh, we were going to put Bishop Sheen on alone for a half hour. He was so good. And uh, we did, and the show did very well. I've always thought that if he hadn't chosen the priesthood, Fulton Sheen would have become America's number one Shakespearean actor. The man was a dramatic to his fingertips. But we came to the point where we had to take the show off the air. And I got a call from the uh, Archdiocese of New York saying, how could they get the show back on the air? And I said, well, if you'd permit us to sell it to a sponsor, we might be able to afford it. And they said, well, that'd be fine. We'll, we'll agree to a sponsor. We have one caveat will select the sponsor. I said, be my guest. And a week or so later, we were in summer hiatus at that point, a week or so later, uh, Father Broderick, who was Cardinal Spellman's public relations assistant in the archdiocese, called me and said, uh, uh, we've decided on a sponsor. It will be Admiral Corporation. I said, great. He said, but he said, you have to go out and see Ross Saragusa, who is the president of Admiral, and their headquarters are in Chicago. And I said, I'll call him and make an appointment. And I called him. I had dealt with him before, and he told me to come out a certain day, a certain time, and I went to Chicago. And I walked into his office, and he said, uh, what is this all about, Ted? And I said, looked at him kind of strangely, and I said, your sponsorship of Bishop Sheen. He said, where'd you get that idea? I said, the archdiocese told me that Admiral Corporation would sponsor Bishop Sheen. He said, well, they never talked to me about it. It so happened that Ross Saragusa was very prominent in the Catholic Church. He was a Knight of Malta and a, had a few other honors. 
He said, I can't sponsor Bishop Sheen, a, a Catholic program on television. He said, all my distributors all over the country are Jewish, and they would, would resent that. And I said, don't be too sure, Ross. Our research shows that Bishop Sheen has a huge Jewish audience. And he said, well, let me see it about this. And he called his secretary in and he said, get me Joe Cohn in New Orleans and Bill Ginsburg in uh, Los Angeles and named several other people. He said, get him on the phone. I want to talk to him. So he kept calling these men. I sat in his office while he did it. And he said, uh, Bill, I'm thinking about sponsoring Bishop Sheen on television. What do you think of the idea? He said, you do? Every Tuesday night? The whole family? That's fantastic. And then he'd call another one and he'd get the same reaction. That'd be great, Ross. We think Bishop Sheen is terrific. Well, after about a half hour of this, Sarah Gusta turned to me and said, we'll sponsor Bishop Sheen. What's the deal? I said, well, the archdiocese wants $7,500 per show for them, and our facilities and uh, time costs on the network, I quoted a figure which I've forgotten now, and he said, okay. And I said, it's 26 weeks firm. He said, oh, come on, this is an experiment. I'll go for 13, but I won't go for 26 weeks. I said, look, we didn't make that provision. That came from the archdiocese. They want a firm 26 weeks. He said, get them on the phone, see if they'll go for 13. Well, I, his secretary got Father Broderick on the phone from me in New York, and I told him the situation. And he said, uh, Cardinal Spellman's just walked into my office. I'll ask him. And he covered up the phone with his, ha his hand, and I could hear mumbling in the background. Gets back on the phone, and he's laughing in the middle of it. He said, Cardinal Spellman's told me I could quote him directly. He said, and he's laughing at this point, he said, what, and leave us in the middle of the season without a sponsor? He's crazy. So with that, Ross Saragusa agreed to 26 weeks firm, and we went with, with the program. Bishop Sheen had a proviso that he wanted to see the commercial content and format under the Admiral sponsorship. And Admiral had Irwin Wasey as their advertising agency. And they uh, sent me the format and commercials that they were going to use. And I called Bishop Sheen, made an appointment, went down to his house, and uh, he lived in the Murray Hill section of New York in the uh, East 30s. And I made an appointment to see him, and I went to his office, and uh, his office looked like a, a room in the church. It had uh, religious icons all around, and the lighting was very low and indirect, and he kept me sitting in, his, at, in front of his desk before he appeared for about 10 minutes, and he finally swept into the room in his robes and his red hat and the whole bit. And he said, uh, what have you? I said, I have the format of the show as, it, as Admiral sponsors it. And I put it on the desk in front of him. And he started to read. And he finally, he looks at me and said, this will never do. I said, what? He said, don't you realize what they've done? I said, no, what? He said, they have me walking through the theater. I said, what do you mean? He said, look at the way this is set up. 
the first thing you see is me. You say, good evening, I'm Bishop, I'm Butch Fulton Sheen. I am going to talk about so-and-so and so tonight, and, but first, a word from your Admiral dealer. And the commercial comes on. I'm walking through the theater. I come back, I'm an anticlimax. I can't do that. He said, you tell them, do the commercial first and then introduce me and we'll do, I'll do my part. And then at the end of my part, they'll do another commercial and that's the program. And that's the way it went. He insisted that the whole time, I believe they were on for two years with us, and then went to ABC when we shut down. <laughs> That's the format they followed. I used to marvel at the fact that uh, I think his part ran 22 minutes and 30 seconds. He didn't wear a watch, but he came out at 22.30 every single time out. How he did it, I never knew. I finally went to him, I said, uh, your Excellency, how does this, how can you do this? Uh, do you have a, a clock in your head? He said, when you've been teaching in Catholic universities as long as I have, you know exactly how long you're talking. And he said, that's the result of it. He was something else. After the show, we had an audience in the Adelphi Theater for him. The women would go up on stage and completely surround him. He had such sex appeal, and it, it, it's kind of a strange thing for a priest, but he did. He, he just attracted women like you wouldn't believe. As a matter of fact, one night I brought my wife to the show, and after the show we went up on stage and I introduced him, introduced my wife to him, and he took her hand and he said, so this is Mrs. Bergman. And with that, he turned right and walked back to his entourage. And she looked at, my wife looked at me and said, what did he expect, a goat? <laughs> now this man was fantastic, he really was.